Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Journey Down Chapter 2. I'm the R Engineer, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we were caught, our airplane was caught by this, um, by the ship. They are catching eels, but they got lost because apparently a lighthouse has gone dark. And now we have to find a way to navigate back to port something something to, to that area to get, you know, to get back. We broke into the captain's cabin, which is nice. We can, you know, sabotage the steering reel here. Or we could just talk to the guy. Um, I found a book about navigation. I have read through the complete thing in the last episode. And what we're going to do now is talk to the captain. Looks like he finished a whole bottle of that nasty eel rinse. No wonder he's out cold. I have to disagree. It looks like he finished a whole of three bottles of that stuff. I'd better leave the sailing bit to the professionals. I'd only take us further into the mist. Nah. Don't be silly. I've got a bunch of stuff. How you feeling, lady? Oh, I'm doing my best to distract the seasickness with this book of yours. And it's actually working. Your father, Kalen Dodo, was onto something big with this. This book really is an amazing find, and I'm sure we'll be able to reach the Underland with this. I just know it. We need to figure out its meaning before it's too late. Too late for what? Too late for what? Listen, Buona. The thugs who broke into the university and chased us from the Charter are dead serious in covering their tracks. We must get into port and find some answers before they silence every last lead to their dirty operation. I can't hear you over the... over the wind. Reaching the Underland? Wanna stop talking so loud about it. Yes, of course we're trying to reach the Underland. That's why we need this book. Something real crooked is going on down there, and I'm hell-bent on finding out what it is. Hmm. You like a compass? Hey, looky! I removed the compass from the airplane! What's the point of that? Jordan needs it to navigate it into port. Looky, got book of navigation. Hey, check this book out! What is it? It's the captain's navigation book. It's gonna help us get into port. I hope. Great. Good job, Juana. Err. Hey, Joe. Catch you later, Joe. Keep, Juana. Stay afloat. Err. The book won't give us our bearings. It's just got maps and stuff. We're heading north, northeast. Check it out. Great. Guessing our bearing without the lighthouse to guide us is absolutely impossible. This should definitely help us get to the port. Now, all we need is a map so we can figure out our location. So we still have no idea where we are? I'm afraid so, pal. And with a captain going full barrel on the eel rinse, I'm afraid we can forget asking him for help. Ah, if only we had a map or something. No worries, man. I'll think of something. I have a map. Hey, look what I borrowed from the captain's bridge. Hey, that's just what we need. We're in the northern rubble, eh? <laughs> I could have never guessed. <laughs> that means we're ready to fire up the engines and get out of here. I never thought I'd say this, but it's gonna be good getting back into port. That was easy. That was real easy. Why did I even read through that darn book? I wonder. Anthony Zardina, Cassie Ewulu, and a lot of other names that I'm not gonna read out. I'm sorry. We just finished what's basically the tutorial, huh? Not a particularly tough puzzle sequence, but we got there. By the way, I'm still, I'm still not too too happy about having you duct tape the wires together. That's not, that's not how electricians operate. It's not. Let's go to the port and let's check out what's going on with the Underlands because what the hey? Why would you why would you do all this? And what's wrong with the lighthouse too? There's a lot of questions. And a completely empty ship. No, there's a captain. The Journey Down, Chapter 2. With the same sick saxophone in the background. Love it. 
Uh, not all the time, though. name's Barlow. Police Chief Barlow. You're under arrest. All of you. Arrest? On what charges? Don't try and fool me, Angel. The Journal of the Journey Down doesn't belong to you. Hey, give that back to us! <laughs> I don't think so. You boys are gonna spend some time in the can. And you and me, Angel. We're gonna have a little chit-chat. I hope he didn't take that spring away from us. Otherwise, how are we gonna escape? How just how are we gonna escape the prison? You really didn't have to. Oh man! I wonder what they're gonna do to her. I wonder what they're going to do to us. We thought we were screwed back home in Kingsport Bay. Look at us now! Yeah, we didn't get much of a warm welcome, did we? <laughs> nope. Hey, you have it pretty good in here. But you really didn't have to change my orange jumpsuit into a white and black striped one. This is kind of dumb. Man, these cops chained us up real good, eh? Yeah, I'm afraid you're right, Buana. We're gonna need sledgehammers to break these chains open. Nice. I like the whole goth theme they got going on in here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kito. Oh boy! Who did you fool? <laughs> hey, cut it out, Buona! Sorry, sorry. Won't do it again. One more? One more. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oops. My head is ringing. I think I broke it. Your head is still in one piece, man. But look, you broke my chains when you fell. Good job, man. Kito, just as good as a sledgehammer. Buddy, you don't look so good upside down. <laughs> look at you, Kito. Upside down and all stripey. <laughs> now you look even sillier than before. <laughs> You don't look so fashionable yourself, Buana. I'm actually starting to like these new clothes, though. They're quite comfortable, and I think these stripes really accentuate my figure. I could really use some help getting down from here, though. I'll figure something out, buddy. What's up with the police here? They're even worse than back home in Kingsport Bay. Yeah, looks like they're pretty crooked, all right. I have a feeling... It's not the last time we've seen of that Barlow guy. The name's Barlow. Where do you think they took Lena? And why didn't they throw her in the cell with us? I really don't know, Buana. Because she has information. About this whole city. And I have a feeling the police chief has more than just policing on his mind. That's odd. Why would a police chief have more than policing on his mind? Because they're underpaid? Nah. Nah, because they have a shit job and stupid times that they have to get to work to? Nah. I don't get it. Man, this prison is boring. No, it's not. Why do you think they'll let us out? Beats me, Mon. The cops didn't seem to be in much of a hurry, though. I hate being stuck. I'll go look for a way out. The way out. Give me that. Oh. Kito, how am I gonna get you loose from them chains? Just use your head, Buana, like I did. I'll go look for a hammer or something. Hurry up, whatever you do. I'm starting to get a headache here. Whoa, that's one badass yo-yo. <laughs> Man. It's super heavy. 
It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to hammer it loose. I need something I can bend it off with. You like a ball and chain though? It doesn't. I need like a ball and chain though? I should be trying to break his chains open, not him. Boy. Gee, I hope that's not. Yep. That's our toilet. Yeah, man. And it's really stinky. Oh, gross. That poor fellow must have been here for a long time. Yeah. Actually quite young, this one. Can I break that guy? Hey, let's leave Mr. Poor Skeleton alone. Looks like he's been through some rough times. Hey, 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 hey. Well, then the only thing that's left to... Oh. I can see the prison yard outside. Then the only thing I've got left to do is this. Hey, maybe we can get this grate open somehow. But we need to bend the grate out of there. Not smash it. What? What else is there? How do I bend things? Hello? Anyone there? I think everyone's gone home for the night. Oh, man. Oh, man. Remember when we were kids and the cops used to lock us up for teeth in the fruit stands? <laughs> of course I remember, Buona. The best mangoes I've ever tasted. You used to be so thin you could squeeze through the bars of the jail cell. Yeah, I guess I put on a few healthy pounds since then. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Break the, break the window. There. A little bit of home decoration can really make a difference. <laughs> Bums away. Mighty mud juggler. Look, Kito, I blasted a hole through the wall. Ah <laughs> Good job, Buana. Does it lead anywhere? I guess I'm about to find out. Oh, someone screwed up when constructing this prison. You know, when you're when you build a wall, you're supposed to put something. You're like like uh, something to to keep the bricks together in between. You didn't do that, huh? I guess this is where the prisoners get their exercise. I uh, wonder what they're mining. to prop up this lever somehow it says workplace security switch this machine requires two operators at all times nah just requires bubble gum that's all could do this all day I love hitting buttons I love hitting buttons cart is empty. It's locked. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be running around down here freely. How? How's that? Hey, there's a pickaxe in that cart, but I can't reach it from here. It's a mining cart. Huh, I don't have anything in my inventory. I don't have anything I can pick up here. Those buttons don't do anything as long as I don't... Hey, what you find out there, Mon? It's a prison yard with lots of machines and stuff. Oh, exciting! Can you give me a hand here, Mr. Skeleton? Ha! Thanks. Just imagine all the creepy stuff I could do with this. Like, uh, push a lever. <laughs> I think it's great that he actually gave me this, you know, his hand. Okay, here we go. Dead man switch activated. Boom, bam, blammo. I, th I told you I was a smart guy in the first one. I told you. I can think. I'm able. Like, kinda. Yeah, gimme. Hey, there's a pickaxe in that cart. But I can't reach it from here. Why not? It's right there. 
What do all these switches do? What's that do? I don't know. What's that do? Huh. Now get that thing back. Perfect. Turn that thing around. And get me my well-deserved pickaxe. I have no idea what this button. Uh, no idea what this button does. Oh well. We got myself a pickaxe. Hey, little pickaxe, come to Papa. I have a feeling you and me are going to be good friends. Better friends than me and that screwdriver, that's for sure. Cause uh, you know he didn't stick with me for particularly long. Second, he he knew I wasn't such a cool guy as I was. As I uh, you know, told him. He he just went ahead and left. Unfortunate. Check this out, man! I found a pickaxe. Awesome, man! You should be able to break all sorts of stuff with that. Yeah, like your chains and a grate. <laughs> what the fu- okay. Thanks, Bona. Hanging upside down was starting to lose its novelty effect. Novelty effect, huh? Alright, let's break this thing open. <laughs> you- Ah, Buana, you're a genius. You- he literally said, well, we're not gonna break the gate, we should bend it open, and now he broke it. Goddamn okay. ass. This is gonna be real gross, but it's our only chance to get out of here. <laughs> I guess a little sewage perfume won't kill us. I hope not. Keep your nose shut and your eyes open. Shroop. It's pretty dark in here. You think? And pretty slimy. You think? Hey, it's kinda slippery. Oh. 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 Ah, fresh air. I can breathe again. Whew! You all right, Buona? I'm good. I think I can make it over that fence over there. Looks like I can get into the city that way. You go see if you can find our airplane. I'll go look for Lena, okay? Sounds like a plan, Mon. With that new mud juggler perfume of yours, I'm sure she'll jump right into your arms. Good luck! You might be onto something there. You might be onto something. Man, I really got to get out of this prison suit, or I'll be busted in no time. Better try and find some new clothes before I start looking for Lena. All right, but before we look for Lena and look for new clothes, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.